Hello everybody, welcome back. I have the most fun project for you today. I have this decoupage paper, it's called Corey's Girls, do I have that right? Corey's Girls, I will give you a link in the comments below on where you can buy it. I think it's only $6 for the paper itself, but look at how beautiful it is. I just love it. Absolutely love these. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I started cutting this out and I thought, you know what, I should record this. Um, so I'm going to make a fun little project here with this gal. She says, I tell you true, there's no place like home. And the, well, it says I really, really, really do. I tell you true, there's no place like home. So isn't that adorable? And then I have this frame, which I have painted. This is old, so I'm so sorry. I can't even tell you what color I painted it in. I don't remember. It started off as a white frame and it's just kind of a French blue color. Um, and I'm also noticing that there's some like reds in here. So I thought it was so perfect. Can you see that? thought it was so perfect for this gal. The only thing is, is it's too big, right? So let me cut her out. And my solution is going to be a piece of watercolor paper that I end up mounting this paper on. So let me cut it out. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Listen, too, if you get this and it's shipped to you in the mail, it's going to be folded. Um, and you can actually, which I'm about to go do, is you can iron your paper so that there's no wrinkles in it or fold lines in it before you get started. So let's just take a look at this, though, first. Let me make sure I don't botch that corner here. There we go. Let me put this other piece to the side. Okay, I grabbed this, but this is not, I don't want to use that. I like the watercolor paper idea. So this kind of fits in here like this, right? Let's put this underneath so we can really look. So what I want to do is I'm going to mount her on here, but there's going to be space left, right? And so then I just have to solve the problem of what to do. Let me move these clips around her. And so I thought I would use, I thought I would use some paint, Pixie paints and just do a background, now that I'm looking at it like this, I want it to be fairly subtle. I have this candied papaya, which is like so perfect, but I don't want to overwhelm the frame, right? I want this to be fairly neutral looking. Um, so first and foremost, let me go and iron this. So I don't exactly know what direction I want this to go. So what I'm going to do is I might end up doing two, um, but right now I'm just going to play with some paint pixie paints. I have candied papaya. I really like how the paint pixie paints um, work on the watercolor paper. Um, so they have the calcium carbonate in it and then they also have acrylic. And so there, it's just, it's a really cool paint, how it kind of reactivates with water. And when you use it with water, it's highly pigmented. I, I left my top open and it's clogged and I keep forgetting about it. So otherwise, um, <laughs> these tops are awesome. So what I'm going to do first is just take my little squirt bottle here. And I'm going to just squirt my watercolor paper. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to go in and see. <laughs> I'm just going to see what this does here. So candy papaya and marshmallow. 
just looking for some subtle color. That's probably going to be too dark underneath her. My sprayer seems to be having difficulties. So you really get some great washes with this Paint Pixie Magical Chalk Paint. I'm just kind of blending as I go. Anytime I squirt it and get it wet, I can reactivate it. I'm going to put in just a teeny tiny little bit of the candy apple red just to give it a little bit of a darker pop. Just I'm just gonna do a little bit. I probably poured way too much out. I am using the Turquoise Iris uh, Pro Wash. I love this brush. I use it 10 times a day probably, depending on what's going on. I really, really love it. I have tons of them. By the way, <laughs> if you wanna try it, I'll give you a link in the comments. These are great brushes, well, well worth the investment. They're all made in Italy, and um, oh, they're just so nice. You'll love them. These are part of the Turquoise Iris collection. These are her artist brushes. Yeah, the red really helped. This is, now it's just really bright and pretty and I am appreciating the different depths that this creates just with three colors. And you can see too, depending on how much water is on here, um, how much of a wash you get and how much of, you know, the pure pigmentation you get. And that's up to you and you can just keep playing. Play and play. So I didn't even do the bottom because this isn't going to even it's not even going to um, show. So I'm going to take, let's take a look at this. Let me dry this. I'm gonna clean up this little paint. I'm gonna dry this with my heat gun and then we'll take a look at it. Um, and then we'll decide, and by wheel, I mean me, <laughs> um, if I like it like that or if I wanna try another one with some more subtle colors. So let me get this dry and this paint cleaned up. I'll be right back. All right. Let's take a look at this with the frame. Oh, that's pretty cute. I'm thinking, I do like that. Um, 
I'm gonna get a little pop of white in here. I don't think I need to do another um, watercolor paper because I like the pop, but I wanna calm it down. So I think what I'm gonna do is use this stencil underneath with some white. Um, or maybe, maybe an off, more of an off-white. Let's take a look. Okay, so imagine with me. <laughs> When this is on, I guess it would be more like this. I think this is gonna be good. I do. So, I'm gonna do it. All right, let's get this marshmallow out. Just a small pile to begin with. I'm using a makeup sponge for the stenciling. I just like how it kind of sinks in. I want to be kind of subtle to begin with. I may go back over it. Wow, it's pretty though. All right, I'm switching over to my brush. This is too big of a surface to cover with that little, this is way faster. <laughs> Just wanna get around the edges. I wanna get um, them a little bit darker. It doesn't necessarily matter underneath here, right? You'll see it a little bit, but not a lot. And sorry, of course my neighbor decided to start mowing his lawn while I'm recording this video. <laughs> How could he have known, right? The nerve, the nerve. All right, so I'm loving that. Let me see how I want to do this. Probably could just repeat it down here. Oh well, can you see that? Let me move this gal so she doesn't get full of paint. So if you have trouble stenciling, offloading is the key. Um, up, he up here, you can see I kind of smudged it and that's because of the makeup brush, I was rushing. I was rushing it, but you know what? It's under. It's gonna be underneath, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna see it. Um, I was thinking this makeup sponge is taking too long. This needs to hurry up and I was rushing it and I shouldn't have. <laughs> but you know what? You can cover it up, so it's just fine. Just fine. Oh, that is so pretty. 
I'm just gonna dry this quick so when I put the stencil back on, I don't smush what I already have. All right, so I'm starting to get all full of paint. Um, I feel like I don't wanna do, oh, that was brilliant. I don't wanna do a repeat of this right to here because I don't want this same exact thing. So I think I'm gonna move it up. Does that make sense? I'm gonna have to move it like this. I don't know if that makes sense. It's the exact same pattern on both sides, so it's not flipping over, won't do anything. Will it? No. What if I did like this? I just wanna make sure. I kind of have to stop there, so that leaf maybe doesn't go in, but the rest will. Let's see, that part won't, this part will. I'm sure I'm shaking the camera with my, oh, I just said I didn't want that in. Oh, it's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Happy accident. I don't even know what's gonna show and what's not gonna show over here. Some of the frame's gonna be covering up some of this, but I just wanna make sure I get a really nice. Let's see what this looks like. Um, design over the whole thing. Need more paint. This is really pretty, like, on its own. <laughs> um, no, I think I want to move it over a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I should just have this same, same design to the bottom. All right, I think that is good. So let me dry this and then we'll look at our gal right on top. All right, I think I'm really going to like this. I do, I do like it. <laughs> I want to cut this out. And you know what? I actually can take my pencil and just make a line on the inside. Hopefully that's marking. That might be the edge of the side anyways. And that's the top. Let's see if that's marking. Sorry, my head's in the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So let me get my cutting mat. And I just have, I don't even know if I'm gonna need to cut any off of there. Um, okay, I got my knife. And if you don't have a craft knife, um, you should get one because they're really great. I really like mine. I don't know what it's called, but I can put a link for it if you all need one. It's really sharp, though, so you have to be careful. I barely dinged my finger on it the other day, and it was totally bleeding.
If there's any pencil left, you can obviously erase it with an eraser or you can just leave it there because the frame's gonna cover it. So, and I will keep this. This probably too, I mean, I could probably make a belly band out of this for a junk journal. That'd be really cute, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna keep this whole thing. I may just do this. Be easier to store it flat then. Okay, this is so cute. This is so cute. I love these papers so much. Corey's Girls. Um, it's a Roy Cycle tissue, and you can order it below. I love it. I like how it's situated right now. So I'm going to be crafty and how I do my glue here. Let's see how far this goes down. <laughs> I can hang on to the paper. You want to make sure your glue is nice and even though a lot of times with these yoohoos they come out in a big chunk and there's a piece of cat hair glad sadie my dog can't get on my table <laughs> that would be a nightmare dog and cat hair Oh, for the love, it's all, she's all over. It's nearly impossible to get the cat to stay off of here, though. So I'm just going to kind of smooth it out. And see, so you can still see the pink behind it, which I actually really, really like. Um, let me grab my bone folder here. And then you can take a, I want to make sure this doesn't have paint on it before I do that, but you can take a baby wipe and just kind of wipe around it if you have excess glue that came out. I'm just going to do the other side. And then just pull it down a little bit just to make sure sure there's glue. Let's see if that's far enough up. It is. So just make sure when you have little chunks that come out of your yoo-hoo that you kind of smooth them down because you don't want a big chunk sticking, sticking up on your paper from underneath. All right, so that's on. And I'm actually going to put a top coat on top of this just so I really protect the paper. So you know what, before I, before I do, I'm just gonna use a matte medium on top of the whole thing. Let me grab a brush here. 
I want to be really, really gentle. Another wash brush. See, I use this all the time. So this is just protecting the paper. And the paint. Now consider when you're putting wet on paper, it's going to wrinkle. Okay, so just just don't worry about it. It'll it'll dry and that won't be there anymore. And see how it is kind of bringing that pink through, but once it dries again. It should be just fine. Make sure I got the whole thing here. Okay, to finish getting this into the frame, I need something thick. And so what I do a lot is I use the back of these pads, right? So this is just gonna be sitting in a drawer anyways. So I'm just going to use the back of this. It's nice and thick. And oftentimes you can just pull it right out. So I'm just gonna rip this, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna use the whole thing anyways. All right, so there we go, and I'm going to line this up and get my craft knife and cut that again, the exact same way I cut the watercolor paper. I'm just going to draw a line around it, um, cut it with my craft knife, and fit it in. All right, so let's put this in. I'm gonna try to use the nails that are in there already. Let's see, maybe this can bend. Maybe not. <laughs> I just yanked this one out. It's pretty tight. pretty snug so this should hold it pretty well that's it oh my gosh I love it I love it thank you so much for joining me today so the links for everything will be in the comments below please um, check me out at janevellanteart.com and there you'll find some $10 classes you'll find my mixed media club tons of inspiration on my blog thank you so much I'll see you next time